Are Google employees getting red pilled as they're looking through YouTube videos uh, not suitable for advertising? Coming up next. Hey Lambo, how's it going, brother? How's that new job treating you? Oh yeah? yeah I, I never thought that you would love working for Google. I know, right? How crazy that they're actually paying you. Can, can you guys, can you believe this? So this guy just got a job at Google, and uh, he's one of the guys that watches uh, videos. Uh, you know, once uh, once a video gets demonetized, and then it has to be you know watched for review. Yeah, look, guess what? Lambo got that job, and now he's getting paid to watch red pill videos all day. Who would have thought, huh? Actually, so that's what today what we're going to be talking about because you know I actually made an observation the other day. Um, I was actually watching another YouTube video, another YouTuber out there, and he was just making the observation. Um, that believe it or not um, we got to think about this you know like it seems like YouTube employees you know they have to watch all these videos that get demonetized and as they're watching these videos and uh, you know they're clicking to demonetize or they're blocking or they're doing whatever they're doing at the same time you know they're also starting to get red pilled hmm now, I don't know about you but seems like um, this is actually working against uh, YouTube and Google huh man I don't know let me just uh, drink my coffee. I'm just out here minding my own business. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that uh, little Kermit the Frog uh, meme. But, I mean, basically, that's what's happening. I mean, because um, I don't know where I got this information from. I just know I got this information, you know, watching a YouTube video, something on Twitter, something. Um, I think it was a 60 Minutes um interview but look long story short we already know that they are censoring a lot of content on the internet and uh you know they they youtube in particular has actually hired a uh, i think it was ten thousand people or a hundred thousand people i don't know some number of people in which they're the ones that have to look over a lot of these videos that get you know dinged as not suitable for advertising and again, let's just talk about that demonetization real quick. The reason that people want to get monetized is only because a monetized video gets put in front of more eyes. That's it. It really has a lot, it has less to do with money and more to do with um, getting people to watch the video. Why? Because again, YouTube has two different categories. You know, categories of videos with advertisements and ones with no advertisements. And what happens is, is the ones with no advertising, well, they, they, they actually, you know, get um, very, very little um, love by YouTube. They get, um, damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not um, prioritized like the other videos that are monetized. Why? Because the ones that are not monetized right off the bat, whether it's by the choice of the uploader or by the choice of YouTube, because they are demonetized, you know, meaning little to no monetization, meaning little to no ads or no ads, then all of a sudden it's like kind of deranked automatically along the other deranking that YouTube and Google might do. But right off the bat, it's demonetized because it's not going to be it's not it's deranked because it's not going to be making money for the corporation. And you know this might this makes sense. So that's why you know most YouTubers out there want to get monetized and want to have monetization on their video. I have monetization on my video basically even way before when I wasn't getting any money only because I knew that Google would put it and YouTube would put it in front of more eyes. So when a video gets demonetized, they just take it away from more eyes because there's no ads or very little ads playing, so there's no incentive for YouTube to play it in front of other people. Now, the whole demonetization thing, you know, how do they come about that? Again, that's just, you know, that's up to YouTube. You know, they have uh, all these guidelines and all this weird uh, stuff, you know what I mean? That they are the ones in control. Hey, they're the corporations, they're the boss, so they get to decide, you know, who's on YouTube and who's not. I'm not here to talk about that. Again, you guys already know I love YouTube. I love everything that YouTube represents in the sense of them being a platform for creators to create. And uh, sure, every day it gets harder and harder and the platform has more and more restrictions and you know we can talk about that all day, but that's not what we're gonna be talking about here. At the end of the day, this is a free platform. We gotta remember that. And um, you know, it is what it is. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is just literally about the observation that I was making that all of these employees that work for Google and YouTube that have to watch all of these videos that are 
all of a sudden, you know, considered, you know, the C theory. I don't even want to say that word. You know, the conspiracy theory. Okay, that. You know, something like that. You know, things that are deemed. You know, um, again, you know, the the. Unfortunately, we all know the truth that. You know, YouTube and Silicon Valley and Hollywood is run by the left. It always has been run by the left. And right now we have a conservative president and there's a lot of conservative uh, talking points out there. And that is literally what's getting, uh, you know, um, uh, censored. And that's it. You know, it, it happens all the time. You know, I remember when I was growing up, uh, it was a conservative censoring the left. And now it's the opposite. But look, the point is, is that that's kind of basically what's happening in there, you know, in, 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 in that sense. So all of these employees that are getting hired by YouTube in order to um, look at these videos and determine that these videos are not suitable for advertising and for advertisements and, and, and you know, as a, uh, what is it as a side effect to all this, all of a sudden, all these employees now are getting red pilled. They are now starting to look at all these videos and starting to question themselves. In fact, I think this is from the 60 Minutes thing or, you know, this is where I, you know, I, I gathered this from somewhere out there, another, you know, outlet, news outlet. But basically, YouTube has to hire not just these people to look at these videos and determine whether they're suitable for advertisements or not. You know, again, if they're suitable to their agenda, whatever the agenda is, hey, we all have an agenda. Um, but by doing so, all of a sudden now, you know, these employees, you know, are also questioning these same exact videos that, you know, we watch and we question. And so they now have to, you know, these employees are now, you know, being taken to psychologists, you know, also hired by YouTube and taken to um, these uh, reprogramming uh, type uh, of, of people or reprogramming, uh, what is it? Um, Damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? Reprogramming, uh, I'm reprogramming myself. What is it? Um, re-education school, re-education school, re-education camp, re-education whatever, right? you know what I'm getting at. But yeah, basically that's what's happening. So if all of a sudden I'm a YouTube employee, well, you know, he is a YouTube employee and he is watching, see look, by the way, look at Lambo real quick. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me. So you guys can get an idea. So look at Lambo. I know it's really dark. It's, it's dark and hard to see, but see? He has his left commie hat on, okay? But the thing is that, you know, even though even though he has his left commie hat on and he is working for YouTube, you know, there's a lot of videos that he's watching right now and that are making him question the truth or the, you know, the status quo. So then as he's questioning it, you know, this same exact Google YouTube employee you know, cannot, um, what is it, like flag the videos as YouTube wants them to flag them. So these same employees now have to go to see the psychologist, they have to go, you know, to, or go see the re-education camp teacher in order to, you know, be told, hey, listen, you know, don't, don't believe what's in the video, you gotta believe this. This is the official narrative. This is the truth, blah, blah, blah. Not what you're watching in the video, not what you're seeing. So. As you guys already know, almost all of you guys watching this, a you know, good majority of you guys have already been down the rabbit hole. We're, you know, in different stages of the rabbit hole. And uh, you guys already know that um, some of you guys, you know, do like I do, where, you know, once you go down the rabbit hole, that's it. You start telling everybody you're a fucking loudmouth. But some of you guys go down that rabbit hole and you guys just stay quiet and you just stay within that little group while you know you're you're you yourself are you know discovering all this new knowledge so don't be surprised if if right now in a place like google and youtube there's a lot of that going on with their own employees with you know their own staff and um I, obviously as you guys already know it's only gonna start snowballing meaning that you know there's gonna be a lot of employees questioning one day and then the next day is gonna be more and more and then they're gonna have to fire those and hire new ones and all they're really doing is red pilling a bunch of people so you know that's the thing about the truth that's why the truth is always something that whatever the truth is by the way because again you know we it's, it's all about knowledge but anyways this is why knowledge is the enemy of a totalitarian government a totalitarian a totalitarian regime uh, or any kind of uh, you know um, major power that is trying to you know be in total full control and take that power away from the people the main thing that is always taken away is knowledge 
And that's basically it. And so right now, what's happening in this new world that we're moving into, which is the world of, uh, you know, of the internet, the world of the uh, World Wide Web and all this knowledge everywhere, even as they're trying to hide all this knowledge from us, they can't. And it's, it's, it's counterintuitive. You know, they can't necessarily burn this knowledge, even though they're trying to do the equivalent of uh, electronic book burning, they necessarily can't, but they're trying their very hardest, you know, to, you know, eliminate, you know, things from the internet. But at the end of the day, um, they can't eliminate everything. You know, it's like, a, it's like when you're playing whack-a-mole, you know, you hit one, five more appear. You knock those five out, 25 appear. You knock those 25 out, you got 550. You know, like, and that's basically what's happening. And so, as, you know, this thing keeps growing, you know, the more they try to censor, and because again, the, the, the computer and the algorithm can only do so much, and so it always has to have some sort of human look at this. So, you know, again, imagine all of these YouTube, Google employees getting constantly red-pilled. And as you guys already know, all of us, you know, for the most part, that ultra left is getting smaller and smaller each day and every single day, everyone is getting, you know, heading more towards the middle. Even the people on the ultra right are getting, heading back towards the middle again. And now every single day that passes, it's a bigger middle meaning that it's, it's a larger group of people that don't trust any side, don't trust the government, don't trust the narrative, don't trust anything. And uh, you know, it's only growing each and every day. So it's only gonna be a matter of time. Sorry, a lot of noise coming outside, but it's only gonna be a matter of time before this whole thing comes full circle. And it's kind of like a beautiful thing because look, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like uh, when I heard that, I think it was last night or the other day, you know, um, what today's topic is all about. I was like, man, get the hell out of here. I was just starting to laugh. I was like, of course, of course. And um, yeah, I mean, this is the way the cookie crumbles. You know, none of this is anything new. You know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, just, uh, you know, just history, guys. You know, we've seen this over and over again. You know, that's why I always like to talk about history and bring up history and make that a large uh, proponent in uh, a lot of the things that I talk about because it's like, you know, history doesn't repeat, it rhymes. And if you know what happened before, then you can definitely have a major idea of what's gonna happen in the future. So, you know, as we're looking at what's happening right now, the more they try to cover it up, the more people are exposed to it. The more people are gonna get exposed to the truth, the more people get to, you know, um, educate themselves and uh, realize, hey, wait a minute, we've been living a lie. And then we start going through all the 12 stages, right? I think it's the 12 stages, the 12 stages of, uh, you know, um, what is it, denial or going through something or what have you, you know? And, uh, you know, so then, you know, it, it all starts with like uh, denial. I don't know what the steps are, but you know, when you go through like denial, anger, upset, acceptance, you know, all that shit. And everyone, that's what, that the waking up part, you know, is very different for everyone and everyone goes at a different speed and uh, some people get stuck on certain steps along the way, but at the end of the day, we're all pretty much on our way there. And uh, it's a marvelous time to be alive, that's for sure. And uh, it's really cool, you know, like I honestly, I'm not even gonna lie to you, like I really do, you know, like just talking about this was, uh, you know, a great, great, uh, you know, talking point because, you know, you know, now what I'm going to do is like, you know, I'm actually, you know, going to see if I can end this video. Maybe we can make a shorter video today, but now I'm going to throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think? Huh? What's your opinion on all this? Huh? What do you, um, what you, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about what I just said right now. And if you think that this is actually a good thing, I think it's a great thing. I think it's a wonderful thing. And, um, you know, eventually the people, uh, will snap out of it because I mean, they just have to, I mean, it's either that or continue going deeper into, um, what is it like, uh, sticking your head deeper into the sand, like an ostrich. And I really do think that, you know, right now at this point, um, it seems like we're finally all g taking our heads out of the sand. But hey, we don't know. So guys, please let me know what you guys think. I really wanna know, um, I really wanna keep continuing uh, talking about subjects like this. I wanna keep talking um, and bringing up uh, topics, you know, exactly like this. I know I just repeated myself, um, but um, yeah. That's it. I'm just trying to end it. Guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And uh, thanks again for watching. And I know today was a shorter video, but hey, you know, it's just a talking point. Let's uh, continue the conversation down below. That's what she said. Later, guys. Hey, guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. 
Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.